What's going on guys? This is Homo Liberty Graphic Designs. Welcome back to our second video. <laughs> so don't go anywhere. All this junk that you see on this table this is what we're going to start doing sub uh i was going to say sublimation screen printing and the reason why i'm starting so small i want to show you guys this time you know uh that we're doing screen printing i want to show you guys that you can do it from very minimum stuff and i'm not even using high-end stuff and one of the reasons why i didn't want to buy you know like a good press a good uh, uh uh, exposure unit or washout booth all that stuff is because that stuff gets expensive pretty quick and not everybody can afford it so this is the stuff this, what we're going to be doing on this video is going to be exposing as our first screen and uh, let me show you the stuff that i'm going to be using not to expose the screen but I'm, what i'm going to be using uh in this video or this set of videos that we're going to be doing uh, from now on is right now we're using the Vastex V100 uh, and now I'm gonna show you guys and I'm gonna do like what I pay for certain stuff as I go that way you guys can see how affordable affordable can be and how much money you can make off a of screen printing so this press right here is actually I will say almost it's like new I bought it off uh, the marketplace on uh, um, uh, Facebook. I bought it off of somebody in San Antonio, Texas. It cost me $400. Normally this machine will cost you $515. That's usually what it costs. If you go through River City Graphics in, in Austin, Texas, it'll cost you $515, but it only has one, one head. I was lucky enough that this one has two so when you buy the machine, it will come with one platen, so one station, and one print head. That's the only thing that is going to come. This one, whoever had it before, uh, the guy that I bought it from, actually bought a second one. Normally, I see this one just with one color, one station. So this one cost me 400 bucks. I do not, I, I didn't want to buy a washout booth. Again, because I want to show you guys that you can do it on a budget. So I went to Lowe's and I bought one of these small sinks. It cost me $65. I actually put it together right before the video. So this is what we're going to be using as a washout booth. Let me move it out of the way. What I'm going to be using for a exposure unit, which an exposure unit, I don't know if I told you the price of an actual washout booth. The washout booth that if I would have bought a small one, it would have cost me... 450 to 500 bucks and that's what I'm gonna get later but again right now I'm gonna show you that we can do it with just a regular sink um, the exposure unit you can get one that's gonna cost you anywhere from two to three hundred bucks for a real cheap one what we call a light box to you know five six thousand dollars depending on which one you get like the one I used to have that one was like um, anywhere to five to six thousand dollars brand new i didn't pay that much for it but what we're going to be using uh for exposure unit is going to be a uv light this is it <laughs> this is what we're going to be using it's a uv light nothing else that's it that's all that's what i'm going to be using i'm not even going to make a box yet i will make a video making an exposure unit using this but today, when you see me exposing, exposing my first screen, I'm actually just gonna hold it like this. That's it. Again, on a budget, like big time on a budget. Now, to cure the ink, just so you know, I'm gonna be using water-based inks. And to cure the ink, I'm gonna use a flash dryer. And this flash dryer, the only reason why I have this one is because we did a giveaway and every time I went to go buy one for the person that, that bought it, I'm sorry, the person that, that wanted, every time I place an order for one, 
I will mess up on the shipping and I kept sending it to my house instead of that person that wanted it. So uh, after the third one, I just kept the last one. So this is what we're gonna be using to cure the ink. Um, this has been here. I've been having this for a little over a year. A year and a month to be exact. But I gotta put this one together. And it's all, again, look at that. It's all in pieces. But for those of you that don't know what a flash unit is, I don't have enough room in here. And because I don't have enough room in here, that's also another reason why I didn't want to get a complete shot when it comes to screen printing. Because this stuff occupies a lot of room. As a matter of fact, that's the reason why we stopped doing screen printing because um, we went into sublimation. Anyways, this is a flash dryer. That's what we call a flash dryer. I believe I paid 175 for this one. So again, every time I get in a, in a, an actual piece of equipment, I will let you guys know how much I pay for it. So you guys can, so you guys know how much I actually pay for it. And you guys um, can see if it's something that you guys can afford. But anyways, the, title of this video or what we're going to be doing in this video is actually burning our first screen sorry guys uh my camera actually stopped recording my battery died on me but um i'm gonna let's do this burning of the screen again just so you know i did went ahead and, and burned the other screen i gave it 10 seconds but 10 seconds was not enough I was able to get the image on the on the screen, but uh, the rest of the emulsion was coming off. So that's telling me that it wasn't enough time for the emulsion to stay behind. So that was ruined and we're going to do it again. So again, it's actually a good thing that it didn't work because now you can get uh, to see, you know, the whole thing uh, done again. Just so you know, the light that I'm using is a 100 watt UV light and now what I'm gonna do actually I'm gonna set up a, a, a timer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for 30 seconds because the 10 seconds that I did was not good enough it was again everything came off okay so this time I'm gonna actually set up a timer I'm gonna set it up for 30 seconds because um, like I said last time I did 10 seconds and it didn't work so we're gonna I'm gonna be exposing it. I'm gonna be holding the light at about 18 inches from the screen uh, for 30 seconds so let's go ahead and start doing that start the timer and again right now it, this is a not not enough um, I, I mean I really don't know if it's gonna work or not the other one like I said it came off but the screen is pretty big, so I have to be very careful when I go to wash it. And uh, I'll let you see everything when we're washing it. Well, 30 seconds actually coming by really quick. So <laughs> hopefully it works. I'm gonna let it go for a little more. So that was 30 seconds. I'm gonna stop it, but, and I'm gonna, I wanna get right here because the light was pretty far away from that end making sure that uh, it actually, you know, exposes the entire uh, screen, especially this part right here that it, there's nothing on it. So right now it's probably almost <laughs> a minute. Okay, so let's stop it right there. We don't need the glass anymore. I'm just gonna set it aside and I'm gonna remove this. I'm gonna take the tape off. The screen actually, it worked really good. Sorry guys, I couldn't take it in the bag to show you how we wash it out. I don't have enough room in there 
to set up the, the tripod for the camera. But uh, I have to make another screen tomorrow, uh, actually Tuesday, and Tuesday, today is Sunday. I will make enough room so I can set up the, the tripod so you guys can see everything. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the press because right now, you know, it's not, it's not set up. I can't print, it'll move on me. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna go set this outside, let it dry completely. And um, this is it for this video. Tomorrow I will be uh, printing. Actually, I'm gonna start tonight. I'm gonna start printing tonight uh, because we only have a flash dryer. So I gotta set this up and I gotta set the flash dryer. Remember, I gotta put this together. So I'm gonna put that together and then we'll come back. Stay tuned because then we'll make another video where we are actually gonna print the shirts. But for this one, this is it. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. As you saw, we burn a screen <laughs> with very little stuff. So thank you guys. A pleasure like always. Make sure you, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and ding the bell so you get notified when I upload new videos. Thank you guys. And I will catch you on the next one. I'll go outside. Thank you.